Chengdu is a city known for its hospitality. And if you explore further its friends circle, you will discover that its friends spread not only throughout the vast land of China, but also around the world, and Haifa is one of them. Haifa, the third largest city in Israel next to the Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, with the Mediterranean Sea in the west and the Mount Carmel to the back, it is also called the San Francisco of Israel. Haifa uh, sits on the mountain and it has a beautiful uh, sea in front of it, the Mediterranean Sea, and this is just the opposite of what Chengdu is, is, is all about. But nevertheless, these are sister cities and uh, uh, both of them are green cities with plenty of parks. Haifa is very well known for the Baha'i that is uh, in the middle of the city on the mountains, slopes of the mountains, and it has a beautiful garden uh, in the temple, so uh, maybe this is the... Uh, the garden itself is the only thing that I can compare Chengdu and Haifa, uh, having uh, beautiful gardens uh, inside the city center. Panda! <laughs> yes, uh, panda is quite prominent everywhere you go. There are uh, statues of panda, images of panda, shops that uh, sell pandas, and definitely this is one thing that strikes you when you uh, get into Chengdu. In 2013, Chengdu and Haifa have established a relationship of sister cities. Now, in order to better promote the friendship between the two nations, Eris bin Abba Vitali, Israel's ambassador to China, came to visit Chengdu once again. And now everything is opened up. Uh, it feels as if uh, it's a very welcoming city. Uh, plenty of tourists in the streets. Uh, uh, and, and, and I feel that it's a different place to visit now, that uh, it's a quiet city, much quieter maybe than uh, other cities. One thing that uh, is quite obvious, it's a, it's a city where the young population is uh, prominent, yeah? And uh, it gives you a, a feeling of relaxation coming from other parts of China. We have uh, had uh, plenty of collaboration in the agricultural uh, field. Um, most of our agricultural technological companies are based in China and are based and operate here in Sichuan. Our companies are engaged in uh, water technologies, uh, water management technologies, and uh, we are looking forward to enlarge all these uh, activities uh, uh, in uh, Sichuan province and other provinces in uh, western China. Tomorrow I'm going to see the uh, beautiful building of the library here in uh, Chengdu and uh, the Consulate General has initiated, uh, and it will be launched at the end of uh, June, has initiated a, a program, a very nice program of uh, mobile library and the mobile library uh, incorporates all the uh, uh, books that were translated, Hebrew literature that was translated throughout the years uh, into Chinese, so all these books will be presented in the mobile library, and all other books that uh, somehow are related to Jewish history, modern Israeli history, and this mobile library will uh, move from one city to the other, so uh, many people around uh, the province and other provinces as well will be able to enjoy both Hebrew literature translated into Chinese and any other book that is related to our history and culture.